Yo, what's happening, guys? It's Flo. I'm here with Sly. So, uh, Adrian recently came out and saying the Los Angeles Lakers shouldn't trade Russell Westbrook until the midseason deadline. Sly, what's your take on this? Oh, man. Honestly, I want to get rid of him right now because by the time midseason comes around, man, our season could be over. So, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, man. It's a risk. It's a big risk, you know, because we saw what happened last year, and I think the same thing is pretty much going to happen. Um, a lot of teams out there, though, during that midway point, they kind of, they know it's over, so they want to get something for those players that are like their last year of their contract. So I get it, but the Lakers actually had to have to be like in that mix at that time. So we'll see what happens. But um, honestly, let's be real: the, how, these midseason trades, like how much, how much does it affect these championship runs? Not really, you know. Here and there, you know, you really don't get stars that get traded during the midway point. And uh, when was a lot like I want to know, when was the last time a midseason trade changed everything? Man, probably Rasheed Wallace when he went Rasheed to the Pacers in 04, yeah, 05. Yeah. That was how long it's been. Yeah, it's been a while. So what do you think about this? Yeah, man. Um, personally, I'm on the same uh, fence as you that I'd rather have it done earlier. Just for the simple part, as far as chemistry, the longer you can have a guy in your system, the more he's going to be adjusted by the time you get to the playoffs and stuff. So Obviously, I don't see Westbrook uh, being on the team, a championship contending team. So the quicker we could ship Westbrook off would be the better. But I do know sometimes teams try to trade for pieces that might put them over the hump, even though it rarely does uh, accumulate to a championship, like you said. However, there's always teams that towards midseason where like maybe they think they're one player away. And I can see that might be an opportune time to trade Westbrook if there is a team shopping for that veteran guard, you know? Yeah, um, it's just going to be hard to get like a superstar. You know, I, don't, I just don't think see that happening. But maybe we get some of those mid-level players, I guess. But uh I don't know, man. I just feel that we, right now, we're going to have to wait one more season. Maybe next year, go out there and get Kyrie Irving or something like that. But um, this year is kind of like we're, we're thinking of all the things we can do. But I don't think anything right now is realistic for us to get over that hump. So unless something dramatic happens, I, I just don't see us uh, making a run this year, man. Yeah, man. This Westbrook contract, man, is definitely going to go down. It's probably one of the top five worst contracts um, as far as NBA history. Obviously, in a few years, that might be changed. But right now... I put in that top five. But you guys let us know what you guys think about the Lakers potentially training Westbrook during the midseason and not before the season. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. See y'all next time. Peace. Peace.